with their 2-0 victory over Hungary before a 5-1 drubbing of Scotland on match day one. Germany are just the second team to score as many as seven goals across their first two games at a European Championship. Hello and welcome to Soccer Better News. I'm your host, Dear Sean, and with me in studio today is European football analyst, Nigel Nyker. Great to be here, Desh. And yeah, what a Euros it's been so far. I think we've been uh, treated mm. uh, a lot of uh, goals. Uh, and yeah, uh, I think we can't, uh, can't wait to look, uh, look forward to this Germany game. Yeah. Nigel, the Mannschaft showed their attacking prowess with no less than five different scorers on the opening match day. Talk about throwing down the gauntlet. Yeah, I think super impressive on home soil. They really gave uh, the viewers what we wanted. I think uh, super impressive with five different goal scorers. I think when you have an attack with that uh, yep. prowess, you're bound to get goals. Mm, 100%. Um, you know, that attack has delivered at the business end of the pitch and Germany have qualified for the knockout stages of the tournament. Can you see a bit of squad rotation in this one? I think ideally, um, with two games to go, you've almost got one foot in the knockout stages. But they will also be wary that, you know, Switzerland would, uh, could beat them and they could fall to second place in the group. Yeah, of course. One player who has certainly caught my eye is Tony Cruz. The man has come out of retirement, or rather international retirement, after having positive talks with the head coach. And look at him now. I think it's been uh, a great news for the German national team to get him back. Yeah. Um, he's shown in his final season that he's a Champions League winner with Real Madrid and can play at the highest level. And I think in those first two games, he's shown that on yeah. international level. 100%. I believe you were talking off record. And the man clocked up, I think it was 102 of 103 passes on the opening match day before doing something crazy like 124 passes against Hungary. Yeah, it's simply insane. I think his consistency and just efficiency in the game is totally insane yeah to match that i think Xavi was in 2012 he broke uh, came close yeah. with 127 passes so, yeah uh, it really is insane what Cruz is doing mm. i just want to pick your analyst brain for a second what do you think those conversations between him and nagelsmann were about was it something just like we're going to pass the ball around them i think he would have wanted the experience yet i think Cruz has been in Involved in this German team for years and what he brings to the team is next level. I think there's there's no player on this planet that mm. comes close to Cruz yeah. in his profile and what he can do on the pitch. So I think it was a bit of a, a begging discussion from yeah. Nagels yeah. <laughs> to get him into that yeah. team. 100%. Um, let's move the attention over to the Germany youth prospects. Of course, I'm talking about Florian Wurz and Jamal Musiala, the latter of which has bagged two goals in two games. I think they're both the envy of the football world. I think any team would want them in their team. Uh, any uh, team would want yeah. them. Yeah, so Musiala especially. You can't get close to the kid. I think he's, his dribbles are just insane. The body feints. Um, and now he's adding goals. Mm. Uh, goal in the first game and goal in the second game. Yeah, you know, it's so many different players on a pitch that can hurt the Switzerland team. How do you think they're going to set up against Germany? I think they'll be a bit pragmatic. They have experienced heads in the squad, mm. especially knowing that they have four points on the board now yeah. and just a, a point could see them go through to the next round. Yeah, of course, um, you know, with direct qualification or rather as one of the best third teams at the tournament. 100%. They know if they could win, they could even top the group. Mm. So there is an opportunity for them to go and make a statement in this final game. Yeah, you know, you mentioned winning the group and of course they're going to have to hurt Germany. Let's talk about his two attackers in Breelin Bolo and Sandra and Shakiri. You know, the two of them have opened their account at the tournament. Yeah, I think uh, two players like you mentioned beforehand that have played their, tried, uh, played their trade in Germany. Uh, and uh, I think they uh, have the experience to, to hurt this German team. Yeah. All right, Nigel. With that being said, give me your prediction on this one. I think I'm going Germany 2-0. I think they get the job done and they top the group. Mm, 100%. Well... Uh, football fans, you've heard it right here from European football analyst Nigel Nyker. We're going to have to wait and see how his prediction plays out. From all of us in Syria, thanks and goodbye. Cheers. For more soccer betting tips and previews, get the latest copy of Soccer Betting News for only 10 rand at your nearest Hollywood Bets branch or news agent. Yeah.